Halo Infinite's new Battle Royale is extremely good, so much so that I would say it's the best custom game I've ever experienced in any Halo title ever. Built by the Forge Falcons, this is a fully working Battle Royale that you can go and play right now. There's always some lobbies running in the custom game browser. It has drops, it's got a gulag so you can even fight your way back into the game. Power weapons, enemy AI, even procedurally generated terrain. It's unbelievable, and the fact that community members made this is awe-inspiring. It also shows that Microsoft is missing a huge potential market. This was fun, way more fun than I thought it was going to be. I'm not that big into Battle Royales, I like Apex, I've had fun with PUBG, but I never really felt that Halo necessarily needed it. I feel very differently now after playing this mode. Over the last week, I've just hopped into the custom game browser, joined matches, and just had a ton of fun. It's honestly been some of the most fun I've had with Season 5 so far. The map has plenty of easy to recognize POIs, and it's designed with great height and great pieces of cover. And part of that cover, right, the pillars, the rocks, the, the ground itself is procedurally generated. So it changes match to match. Not only that, there's weapons for you to pick up around the map and there's AI that is trying to take you out as well. Everyone drops with just their sidekick. So you have to go out and scrounge for new weapons and to try and earn points. King of the Hill zones will show up around the map and you earn points for doing so, which you can purchase perks with. You have increased shields. I'm not sure what the exact value is, but you can't just get one shot by a sniper. And I really liked the way this felt. It made the gunfights extremely challenging. And you also didn't feel like you were just getting killed from somebody that you didn't see. The sandbox for Halo Infinite plays perfectly, especially with this map size and design. The ring closes in rather quickly. And if you do die, there is a working gulag. So you go in, you have a pistol battle. If you win, you get to come back into the game. And surprisingly, the drop mechanics work quite well. This is a big deal. Uh, I can't stress enough how much I'm like not thinking that we needed a, a battle royale and now I'm seeing what a gap it is to not have a game mode like this available for the players. What I would love to see is for this to be put into matchmaking and please, if it does get put in 343, don't apply the insane level of SBMM that is present right now across season five because part of the reason it's been so fun to play this in the custom browser has been the variety of the experience. And I feel like 343 has toyed with this idea before. Who remembers Last Spartan Standing all the way back from what, season two? That game mode has just been banished to the Shadow Realm and I remember players being fairly positive about the reception, but the maps were not built for that mode. And right now, the community is making the absolute best maps for this game within Forge and we need more of them in the matchmaking rotation immediately. I've heard plenty of rumors that Tatanka, the supposed Halo BR mode, isn't actually coming. It's not something that's still being worked on or it's shifted into something new. If this is the case, that would be relatively disappointing because there is a massive market of FPS players out there who really only glom on to the battle royale genre. Now with season five, Halo Infinite is getting its feet under it finally in the normal game modes. And I think now is an appropriate time for something like a BR mode to come in. Most of the apprehension prior to the launch of Infinite of a BR Halo was that it would take away from the main core multiplayer experience. If the two can exist in harmony, I am all for it. In the meantime, go check out this game mode. I will leave a link to the game type and the map in the description below so you can hop in, make your own custom game. But there are matches going on in the custom browser every single day. I think part of the reason this would work so well in matchmaking is once you are out, you kind of want to get out of the match and re -queue. In the custom browser, you need to wait until the match finishes, spectating everything. So in my mind, I have no idea why this wouldn't make its way into the rotation, even if it was just for a week. Draw some attention to what is the most impressive Forge creation I've seen just yet in Halo Infinite. We are now just a few weeks away from Halo 3 Refueled and I believe King of the Hill Firefight. So season five gets another shot in the arm in just a couple of weeks, which is why now is a great time to hop into customs and try this mode out. The Forge Falcons have made me a complete believer that a BR is needed in Halo Infinite and they did a fantastic job building something that's only going to grow and improve from here. I can't wait to try this with squads. Apparently you can buy back teammates similar to the COD style. And I know there's just going to be some incredible clips and moments coming from this mode. Let me know if you tried this mode and if you have what you thought about it. Thanks for watching. Click the video on screen to check out some of those Halo 3 refueled maps that are coming in just a few weeks.